A uh, bit of an odd character to be seeing. Definitely one of the more interesting ones of the of the cast, having the two forms available. And Young Zeku and old Zeku. And in those tools, being able to change up a lot of how he approaches, I feel. Good slide in there, goes to the overhead, gets stuffed out. He's going to force some corner pressure. Lots of white health here, and he gets the grab for the win. Ooh, all right. Very solid pressure cha uh, chain, but it's a matter of like, how well is he going to be able to carry that over? Because if it's just one of those things where it's based off like a consistent bread and butter, eventually our own boy can adapt to it. So I want to see how well uh, Desnier can hold that pressure as the set continues. And if he gets to play in this particular this, game. All this damage and the stun. Desnier going to be eating lots of fat combos here, and Island Boy taking a clean round two in game yeah. one. However, look at that critical art bar. He's got a full stick of butter available. He's He's got it to work with. He's just got to be able to use it. All right, he's going to he's gonna stick with Oh, no, he's going to go back to Young Zeku. Just off of, uh, you know, what we're seeing on stream, it seems like he's more comfortable with Younger Zeku. No, not, not that there's one that's inherently better, but... They have different options. Yeah. And I guess given this particular matchup, Younger Zeku works out more. It's not working out well enough, though. I don't know if he's been able to consistently push to oh, the corner, he's gonna but... Go with it. He's going to hit him with the critical here, and that's going to take the game here. That should be bad. actually. He's gonna no. It scales too hard. That is unfortunate. But it does enough damage. Yeah. Or just a, oh, a little poke here will take it out here. V trigger confirmed and get stuff. Island boy on a sliver of life here, but he's gonna get air to air. A sliver no more. Desnier will take game one. All right. An audio clip you'll rarely. Yeah, hear. That, that's definitely a <laughs> In 2018. But you're hearing it here at at the Retro Rumble 2018 at the Retro World Expo here up in Connecticut. A rare sight to be seen, but very well executed. It seemed like uh, Disney knew what he needed to do as far as like playing around Karin and like just not allowing her any space to breathe. Well, and not only that, not only not allowing uh, Karin to breathe, but ha yeah, I saw the Vegas That's a Vega. I'm excited about that. I like seeing Vega. I want to see some flashy like plays. But not only managing the spacing, but managing uh, uh, the opponent's offensive opportunities. Round so one. just ensuring you're blocking right. And that's what set up Desmond for the winning game one. So now, coming into this, we have Karin switch to Vega. Now, Vega offering a bit more on the side of mobility, and I feel like that might be a... Key component in fighting against Disney's uh, Zeku, especially with the younger one. Right. Now, I'll be honest with you, CMAX. I'm not particularly familiar in this matchup. What should we come to expect from Disney and Zeku that would change between how he fought against Karim or Vega? I'm going to expect him to be a lot more combo heavy and a lot more focused on, uh, on being offensive rather than defensive and converting on opportunities. And it makes sense. I mean, hey, it's working out so far. Right, right there, like, he let Island Boy hang himself. He like, made an unsafe slide in, and the punish game was on point. That's just sort of been the bane of Vega for all of his existence. He's, he's got a Street Fighter five. <laughs> he's got so much speed, but it does nothing if he's going to run into his own death. Island Boy's going to have to be pretty sneaky with how he maneuvers himself along with Vega. Gets the crumple and the combo. Great air to air there from Island Boy to reset the situation. Oh no, that's gonna be big damage. Oh, never mind. Nah, drop down. It's what you would say. Gets the EX command grab off. Island Boy looking really good in this round. He just has to bring it home. Yeah, the Vega pick looking a little bit more legitimate after round one getting a solid beating, but. I mean, hey, it takes time to readjust to a character. Especially given how different Vega and Karim are. Very true. Round two goes to Island Boy. We go and to a final round of game two. <laughs> and the sheep go wild. <laughs> in Street Fighter Five, this is actually my favorite background. I don't know. There's something about the stage I don't like. But 
Is it the we got a stun here from Desnier. <laughs> Island Boy is being told that he's not allowed to play this game right now. The mix-up game. Oh, the EX just misses, but he gets it anyway. He's and still going to make it work. Yo. All right, let's see. Are we going to see another That's character switch? That's a statement. That is a statement. This is looking really good. You, you know, we long awaited Zeku. It actually ends up happening. We're running it right back. Yo, he's not he is not satisfied with this. He needs this Vega to run it back. Yeah, he's gonna get first blood in the game three, but I don't know, man. The Vega just wasn't convincing enough. He was able to keep to beat with Zeku, but he was still right. at his mercy. Vega's got him in the corner. Let's see what the mix-up is. Alright. Forces him back in the corner. Zeku is going to get a good crush counter. He's going to be able to escape the corner here. Put the pressure back on Island Boy. Great dash under there. He's going to convert that for good damage. He's going to keep on going. And puts We're, him in the corner. Yo, and the throw, second, yo. And the throw again. And, excuse me? That was a throw Bro, by what? Desnier into a throw by Island Boy into just a normal by Desnier to close the round. That whole interaction was coast to coast. Like, all right, Island Boy here sitting on tournament life here. And he's about to, you know, flatline on a pretty convincing round in favor of Disney. I feel like this is this is oh the the command grab misses, V trigger activation up, gets the grab. All right, let's see what he can do here. Puts him in the corner. You know, contrary to what I feel like it was a solid boon for Lucky Duke when he was on stream earlier. All right, we're styling with the V Trigger. Let's go that back in time. Finish. That'll do. Shake his hand. Desnier 3 0 over bad. Island Boy. I am incredibly impressed with the Zeku play. Not just because, you know, had, clearly Desnier had a fine command over Zeku. But, and the point I was going to uh, build up before Island Boy got thoroughly handed. Island Boy didn't have an answer. I feel like. 